And welcome to The Dynamo Show, episode nine. I am your host, James Earth, the chief architect of WOW for Dynamo Entrepreneur. We support entrepreneurs, predominantly speakers, authors, internet marketers, coaches, bloggers, and all kinds of experts in living well and doing good. We have a fantastic show for you today with three very special guests. Without further ado, let's bring on our first, Mr. Ronnie Fisher. James, thanks for having me today. Oh, you're very welcome. Appreciate it. I am such a fan of you. Oh, I'm a I, fan of you. I gotta say, like, you know, this, this past year, I mean, we've, we've only known each other a little while, but I've seen you just climb so fast, and it's gotta come down to one word, energy, positive energy. Tell us a little bit about your youth. Ah, my youth was nowhere near what I am today. You're absolutely right. There has been some major shifts, some transformations that I've experienced. Yeah. Uh, youth was, um, I experienced a lot of negativity. Okay. I grew up in a environment that was poverty stricken. There okay. was some abuse, some yeah. drug addictions, mm -hmm. and uh, it just wasn't the most pleasant upbringing that I've experienced. Okay. Yeah. Okay. A lot of kids go through that, you know. Absolutely. What would what would you you know attribute to some of the things that allowed you to come overcome that adversity, overcome those challenges as a young person? I think that everyone I grew up with in my environment, in my neighborhood, the kids all experienced some of the very similar things. Mm -hmm. But I was driven and I had that energy and I knew that there was something more possible and there was something bigger and better for me. Mm -hmm. I knew that something had to change, that this was not the lifestyle that has been uh, created for me. Okay. I had to get out of it, I had to escape it, and I mm -hmm. had to make the action steps in order to do so. Mm -hmm. And you see now, you know, as we grow as more entrepreneurs and experts, speakers, etc., how a lot of that story, and I know you're involved with a, a group called Mo Mondays, we can get into that in a little, in a little bit, um, how powerful the story is to support others and inspiring others to overcome their own stuff. If you were to say like maybe two or three tips for our audience, how do you get involved into, into speaking on stage and sharing your story? Uh, with Mo you mean? With, with Mo Mondays or any yeah. organization? Well, I suggest it's just action steps and it's just having that courage. It's a matter of shifting that mind so that you just have the desire to get up there and share mm -hmm. because what happens is when you're sharing your story, it resonates with somebody. Whether yeah. it's one person in that audience who has experienced similar things, maybe they're dealing with a family issue, mm -hmm. maybe it's them themselves, but a lot of the times a purposeful story mm -hmm. is impactful and it inspires them to make the change and have the courage to do so themselves. I love it, I love yeah. it. So speaking of purpose, what's yours? Do you have a purpose here? Absolutely, my purpose in life has now been to inspire, motivate, and encourage, and educate others to do the exact same thing mm -hmm. and to find their purpose. Mm -hmm. I find that too many people are drifting through life without direction mm -hmm. and they haven't designed or created a blueprint for their own life's path and success. It's true, it's yeah. so true. So who inspires you? Who inspires Ronnie Fisher? There's a lot of people that inspire me these days but I grew up with lacking inspiration. And I mm -hmm. think it was just the fact that I was conforming to a lifestyle that may have been created surrounding me 
Yep. And it was my environment. But these days, there's a lot of people that inspire me who are living well and doing good. James, you're uh, one of those people that yeah, definitely buddy. inspires uh, me, you know, awesome. and motivates a lot of other people. People awesome. who are trying to make a shift. Yes. People who are trying to make a difference. Yes. You know, those who are trying to impact others. Yes. Who are spreading love. Giving them a you voice. Know? Absolutely. A messenger for the messengers. You know, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. I love it. And you're one of those too. I mean, like Mo Mondays. Tell us a little bit about your project. Yeah, Mo Mondays is a storytelling platform. Yeah. And we mix in live entertainment. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got a lot of interest interesting people telling their unique individual stories. Including a dear friend of ours, Michelle Naray. You Michelle know, Naray big is up the to founder. Michelle Naray. He's the founder. He's been much. on the Dynamo show. Yeah, a great guy. Yeah. Heart of gold. Yes. You know, and yeah. now he's become a brother. It's an amazing experience. And the community that he has developed just continues to expand. So he started it here in Toronto mm -hmm. and we're now the 13th city across Canada. Oh, wow. So Mo Mondays, Motivation Mondays. You've okay. Got it. You got motivation and you got inspiration. That's right. Motivation inspiration to you what's the difference um motivation is a lot of the times other people contributing i think i get motivated by other people contributing to me mm -hmm. but i get inspired by those i'm looking at and watching and they're doing their thing mm -hmm. okay so i think that's the, the bit of a difference uh, coaching it. is motivation to me yeah. teaching is motivation to me yeah but inspiration comes from watching other people do it and taking action mm -hmm. i actually heard uh, a line and, and i apologize because i don't even know who said it it was our God-given duty here on this planet in this human phase was simply to inspire. Yeah. That is our only job. And then I thought, I thought about it. Like really, if we really take care of ourselves and we put that oxygen mask on us, we take care of our backyard, we wouldn't need to take care of each other so much. Yep, absolutely. Isn't that wild? Yeah. You know, it's by leading by example. Yep. By leading by example. That's awesome. So Mo Mondays, you know, I, I, I'm excited. I've actually spoken on the platform. I'm going to be speaking again at your club out in Niagara. I'm going to be speaking in Toronto one day soon. So Michelle Naray, you know, having, a, having started such a vision and an organization like this, and to be able to franchise it out, it takes skills. It takes, you know, different types of opportunities and networks to kind of align, okay? What are some of the challenges that somebody like Michelle or like yourself, you know, would encounter starting something like this or getting into this type of profession? I think one of the things that he tried or one of his challenges were yeah. is finding people that really suit the brand, yeah. that are going to do well for the brand because mm -hmm. he's very protective of that. Mm -hmm. um, he is, you know, you can, you can have people that are the wrong suit for it that aren't going to be successful at it and it's going to bring the entire um, brand down with it. It's true. So I think that uh, yeah. our partnership mm -hmm. uh, is very valued because of the fact of, you know, we're putting effort in, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're go-getters, we're doing things, we're mm -hmm. taking action and, uh, and we're really making an impact within our community and, and it looks good. So let's say, you know, besides more Mondays, you know, I know you have aspirations to do some really fantastic things as an expert yourself. Care to share about some of those? I have a extensive construction background. Mm -hmm. I've been project manager for several residential projects, subdivisions. Recently, I've been developing high rises. Oh wow! Um, I'm a real estate investor, so yep. I'm always buying and flipping houses, and uh, you know, all about it. moving and shaking in the market type yeah. of thing. Yeah, yeah, know? love it. Uh, that's one of the things I really enjoy, and, and um, you know, I've had the opportunity to really meet some great people from all areas, whether we're signing contracts or these are the guys that are working in the field. You know, yeah. it's, it's really nice to be out there and just talking with people. I love it. So talking with people requires networking, networking Absolutely. skills, you know, really getting out there. You know, in, in your professional experience, you know, what would maybe be three tips for our audience? If you care to share, what would make a good networker, somebody that really gets out there? I think enthusiasm is one of the things that makes a really good networker. I think that somebody is outgoing, willing to take that initiative, take that step towards meeting somebody new and showing interest in somebody else. You know, we can all talk about ourselves. We all have that, you know, we want that moment in the spotlight, right? Yeah, yeah, me, That's me, one me. Of, me, 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 and I've gone <laughs> through that. I'm still at that stage sometimes. Uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. one of the things is really showing attention to the details that the other person is sharing. To the us. You know, absolutely. To the we. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. So speaking of like secrets of success, you know, I know you've become successful very quickly in a number of different genres. Why? the quickness. You know, I see you going from this to this to this, you know, all of which you've accomplished great heights. What would you attribute to the speed of your success? Mentors is number one. You know, cool. people have obviously been there, done that, sharing their knowledge, sharing their experience. It's going to help you streamline to where you want to go. So having somebody who is already there that is willing to teach and preach and sell their skills to you. Mm. Uh, one of the other things that I'm really big on is discovering personal development mm -hmm. and streamlining yourself through discovering what your passion is, having your, identified your talent, 
your association, mm -hmm. taking action and having faith. I love so, it. So to me, that's a success equation. That's a blueprint. It is a blueprint. Right? And following the blueprint could be written for no matter what industry you're in, it's you're going to go there with these tools. It's true. So I've acquired a bunch of tools. I love it. And yeah. assets. What would you say is your greatest asset? I think my greatest asset is me because you can take everything that I own. You can take everything that's physical and tangible away I from love me, it. and I've still got me. Yeah. Doesn't matter what industry I go to, everything that I've acquired yeah. is my tool from up here. I love it. So how do they find you? Why don't you share with our audience a little bit about you know social media or website or, or how do they find Ronnie Fisher? Yeah, Ronnie Fisher is obviously on Facebook and social media. We are also uh, momondays.com backslash Niagara, and our email address is Niagara at momondays.com. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Appreciate Ronnie. It, buddy. Thanks for having me. I look me. forward to uh, being on your stage one day soon. Me too. And what's exciting is we actually have one of your partners from Mo Mondays Niagara, Mariola. She's on her way as our second guest. We are on our way to a short commercial break, and we'll be right back. Welcome back to the Dynamo Show, episode nine. We just had an interview with Ronnie Fisher and we are about to interview one of his business partners and friends, Mariola Tarniak. Pleasure to have you on the show. I know you're doing such amazing things in the community and I really commend you and all the success you're having and you're having with Ronnie and the organization Think and Grow Rich that you work with. Why don't you tell us a little bit about some of uh, the younger years, or maybe when you came to Canada originally, because I know you went through some challenges, and I would love to hear about them, and I'm sure the audience would too. Sure. Well, first of all, my pleasure to be here. I absolutely enjoy your shows. I absolutely watch awesome. all the episodes, so thank you so much You're for having welcome, me here. You're very welcome, Mariola. Um, I overcame quite a few challenges, but um, probably one of the biggest ones that I had, it was when I first came to Canada. I was extremely self-conscious about my accent and I was so self-conscious that it blocked me from fulfilling any of the goals in my life. I, at some point I actually even was over 200 pounds overweight and uh, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of challenges along the way. Well, congratulations first off. <laughs> I mean, that's a huge accomplishment in itself, but I'll let you continue. Thank you. And um, so I guess one of the things happened to me that would, would change, would help me to overcome that challenge was when I first got introduced to Think and Grow Rich Institute and Mr. Satish. Satish, Ver I know Satish yes, well. Yes, of yeah. course, of course. So, Great man. Uh, yes, and Satish, by using the philosophy, he was able to unblock within 30 seconds, kid you not, within 30 seconds, 30 he seconds. was able to unblock that self-consciousness that I had about my accent, about oh, speaking wow. um, incorrectly in English. And you know, I don't know if you ever experienced that, but within these seconds, I forgot how to breathe. It wasn't even a ha moment. It wasn't even, oh, I know that I have to believe in myself. No, it was literally, I forgot how to breathe and the cloud that I had yeah. in front of the, my definite major purpose in life yeah. suddenly disappeared and oh, everything wow. became much clearer. Clear. And when you find that passion and if you're not afraid to pursue that passion, things just happen. And I mean, within minutes, I wrote out the plan for my next, few years what I want to do, how I want to pursue, how I want to achieve that definite major purpose in life and things started happening. I see it happening. Mm -hmm. I'm watching it. I'm watching well, it on you. social media. <laughs> I'm so excited to come and speak in Niagara. You oh, know, that's going to be very amazing. Excited to have you. you know, I've already spoken in Toronto. Michelle yes. Naray is a dear friend oh, of mine, so guy. I know yeah. him well. And, and I love what Satish is doing too, you know, with, with the Think and Grow Rich project. Did you mm -hmm. read that book back when you were a kid? You know what? I did read it, I, I, I would say about 10 years ago. Okay. Because yeah. I, um, I was in sales. And you know yeah. what? I met a lot of wonderful people that coached me and said, you know what? You need to read this book. So yeah. I read this book. But you know how sometimes you, like you read it. Okay, I read it. And when you have the, no, like just reading and having the knowledge, but yeah. not applying the knowledge, is like not having the knowledge at all. Or buying like a diet book and putting it on the shelf. Exactly. And thinking you're gonna, so you know, without action. You got it. You got you it. Know, and you know, that's how I weight. felt. <laughs> yes, that's how I felt. I'm like, well, I know that you're supposed to be positive. You're supposed to do this, this, yeah, yeah, this yeah. and that. But it was more like talking the talk, not mm -hmm. walking the walk. Applying and you the principles. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, and yeah. Then, that was my very first book. Amazing. It was my very first book. And it's so profound because 
you know, it just manifests, you know, Absolutely. and I manifested that back when I was like, I don't know, 13, 14, Good 15. For you. you know, actually the second book I ever read was the book on jealousy and I eliminated really? that feeling <laughs> for the rest of my years till today. Right? Amazing. But you know, with the with the philosophy of thinking grow rich, when you're a young person, you don't really absorb it the way you would as an adult. When I actually went back and really studied what was actually in that book, it's amazing to see what's going on. So yes. I commend yes. you for the position with that organization and I'm sure big things to come. Thank you. So let's talk about purpose. You dropped purpose in there a little mm -hmm. bit. Uh, so I would love to know a little bit more about your big why. I, my definite major purpose is to inspire people to optimize and achieve their full potential. I mean, I think, I love people. And I love people because we are such unbelievable creatures that are capable of achieving so much. And being able to help someone to identify that definite major purpose and achieve it, and whether it's through Think and Grow Rich philosophy, whether it's through bringing an epic speaker such as yourself to my Momande stage, <laughs> we're so grateful to have you there and whether just by walking my walk and exemplifying that you can achieve success in life if you really want to achieve something so it, you, you mentioned role models let's talk about some of yours who would be your oh. role models anyone it, in particular or a group of people interesting it can be myself can it <laughs> it can be ronnie took that one you can't oh, have that yeah, one big surprise <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> No, you know what, I want to say I'm a strong believer that you become who you surround yourself with and I can truly say that I really um, try, to, uh, try to surround myself with game changers, super mm -hmm. achievers and I love it. Oh, I and love that I'm word, super achiever, that's good. <laughs> and, but I would have to say throughout my life my absolutely number one would be my mom. Aww. Yeah. Tell us about your mom. <laughs> So number one reason why I think she's such a great role model for me, mm -hmm. because now studying the philosophy, I see throughout her life how she has had applied that philosophy without even reading the book, without knowing the philosophy, she has had applied it. And mm -hmm. I mean, starting from early years, she comes from very humble beginnings, mm -hmm. uh, had to overcome a lot of challenges. Her father passed away at the very young age and she managed to build a beautiful career for herself mm -hmm. and a beautiful family. And Epic came to life. Canada with you? Yes. And yeah. she just recently actually came to Canada. A oh. lot of people said, are you crazy? You're leaving the career. You're leaving all of that in Poland to come mm -hmm. here. You're going to face the culture shock. You know what? She came, mm -hmm. she taught herself English within three months. Mm -hmm. Just from the website or using some books. She taught herself English. She absolutely embraced the culture here. And right now she's being an epic grandmother to my kids and uh -huh. absolute epic role model as she has always been. You know what I would put money on? Seeing mm -hmm. that you made the transition first, you would be her role model now. Oh, very interesting. You ever thought of that? <laughs> you know, you taking the very leap before she did and then now coming and having this culture shock and doing what she does. So yeah. that's awesome. Uh, Big shout out to all the moms out there. You know, my mom, you know, mm -hmm. she, she uh, moved on from, mm -hmm. from this world about three years ago I'm on Mother's Day. And she was also my role model, my, my, my biggest role model uh, for philanthropy, right? Mm -hmm. So one of the reasons I do what I do and the way I give back and the way I pay it for it and how I get involved with good causes and charities yes. is because I watched my mom at a very young age on fashion model runways. She owned wow. a big modeling agency, modeling school, and she gave back to community houses for battered women and children. She taught me as a very young age how to respect women like your mother and your daughter. It says a lot about a man, doesn't it? Yes, absolutely. So let's talk about maybe some of the things that you're doing now, okay? These are, you know, times that are really, you know, tumultuous. There's, there's a lot of adversity, there's a lot of chaos, there's a lot of corruption going mm -hmm. on in the world if you look at it. Now when I see somebody like yourself or somebody like Ronnie that are focusing so much on positivity and allowing people to share those stories of overcoming, what are some of the things that you do now to face the challenges of this world? Um, do you want uh, actual strategies? Or yeah, do you want like give okay. us a strategy. Maybe tell it our viewers. Okay, well, uh, one of the main strategies that I would uh, suggest is starting your mor morning routine in the most epic way you can. So getting up in the morning and the way you start your morning is det determines how you will lead your day. So make sure to start with a little bit of exercise and I know all of you watching it are super achievers so you know already the benefits of exercise. So start it in the morning, start reading a lot um, and usually the positive reading, review the plan for the day and intentions for the day and do some affirmations because it's going to set you up for that primary win. It's going to set you up that any adversities that will come your way, you will be able to overcome. 
I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. And love, <laughs> you know, lots of vibrating energy or fear. Yes. Okay. I know you talk a lot about fear and failures and overcoming mm -hmm. your fear and failures. Any tips for overcoming? I would say if you are fearful of anything, do more of it. And the more you do it, the more fearless you become. I'm almost addicted to being fearless right now. If something is out Woo! of my comfort zone, yeah, girl, <laughs> I just go for it. And I do it enough times so actually I become, uh, I don't want to say master at it, but I just love doing it. So uh, that's it. if it comes to the failure and uh, to the uh, fears. But if it comes to the failure, there isn't such thing as a failure unless you accept it as such. Beautiful. So you can- A lesson. Yes, yeah, so the, we will have the lessons, we'll have little defeats, we will have little, little obstacles in our life. But if you identify it as the seed of opportunity, if you water it, then you will collect the fruits of learning that lesson. And fear is not a factor for Mariola Charniak. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming to Thank the Dynamo so much, Show, Mariola. It was awesome. I'm yes. going to see you on stage at Mo Mondays. Yes, wonderful. Thank you. This is the Dynamo Show. I'm James Ert. With our short commercial break, we will be right back with a good friend named Todor. Welcome back to the Dynamo Show. This is episode nine. We've already had a conversation with Ronnie and Mariola. Now we're gonna take it to a very special friend of mine. His name is Todor Yordanov. Welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you so much for having me, James. Oh, Pleasure you're so to be here. welcome. You're so, so welcome. Wow, I, I, I'm just watching all the success you're having, you know, on social media. And you're so good at posting to all the different groups. And, you know, I learn a lot from you, especially from marketing and posting and stuff. So I, I thank you for that. Before we actually get into talking a little bit about business and success and being an expert in your chosen space, you know, and when I think of expert in, in real estate take, for example, mm. I think of you. And we're going to get into why. Oh my God. Before we do that, before we do that, I'd love to talk a little bit about you. Okay? If you're open to it, let's maybe talk some challenges, talk a little bit about your youth. Care to share a story? For sure, for sure. Um, when you say challenges, um, unlike a lot of people, I don't see challenges in my life. Um, I guess I'm just like built that way. Um, I, I don't have a particular a challenging story or a challenging period of my life that I was trying to overcome. Um, I see life as uh, constantly flowing and, and, and beautiful days come and go. I love it. Have you and always then, seen it that way? And then you have like, I always see it that way. Yeah. yeah so, um, you know, you, you talk to a lot of people that are inspiring other people and, and, and very often um, people that are inspiring me as well, they come from, you know, difficult childhood, they come yeah. from poverty, they come from um, a period of their life when um, they were not in a situation that is promoting positive growth. That is very different in my case. I grew up in, should I say, a privileged family. Okay. Um, I grew up in a communist Bulgaria. Gotcha, so gotcha. in communist Bulgaria, um, healthcare is free, education is free, and, and, and then you have um, a lot of options in front of you, but my family was um, not privileged in the, in the Western society kind of way, but um, you know, very positive, very educated, very um, well-established professional parents. Okay, my father was an actor, my, my mother was a pharmacist, mm -hmm. so they were very respected in, in our city, in our back society, yeah. back home. So I had, I had a really great upbringing and a great family. Um, my father was famous. Gotcha. And, as and, an actor. And, as an actor, yes. Yeah, so cool. growing up, growing up um, in a family of a famous actor yeah. is a challenge of its own because everywhere, so? everywhere you go, yeah. um, people recognize the father and people recognize the name. Yeah. And, and there's... I, I wouldn't say like there is certain expectations, but um, you're not you. Yeah. You're the son of yeah. somebody else. I have a few friends like that. You right. Know. So when I was 21, 22, I decided to make a name for myself and I left the country. 
Ah. And I went as far as I can go, which was Canada. Yeah. And I landed with $40, no English, didn't know anybody and didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. I basically said, you know, I want to be me. I want my name to be my name. And you're doing good and, with that. And it ended up, um, and the way I see it now, I mean, it's, there's a positive and negative in, in everything that we do. Um, I, I missed my family and... Is your dad still with us? No. Is he still around? No, no, he's been gone for 20, 20 years. What kind of movies, if you don't mind? Um, what kind of all kinds stuff? of, uh, he was a, uh, an actor in the theater, but he did okay. a lot of radio, TV, yeah. uh, movies, and all of that. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. it was like a very, very well-known um, actor at the time. Okay, very good, very good. And yeah. I know you're getting more well-known as you come to Canada now and what you've done and th this, this epic community that you're building. You know, what, what are some of the things that Canada really was different like? You know, talking about, you know, the success of an entrepreneur, the ability to become the six, uh, as an entrepreneur to begin with. You know, did you have those types of opportunities in Bulgaria? I wouldn't know because I, I left Bulgaria when I was, tw I was 21. Mm -hmm. So that was uh, 20, more than 20, 26 years ago. I'm, okay. So I, I must have been 24 and, and that was 26 years ago. So, um, Are there entrepreneurs I was just, I was just, in Bulgaria? I was, right, I was just, of course, of yeah. course, yeah, absolutely, Good. absolutely. If I had stayed, my life would be completely different. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, but I decided to make it on my own. Mm -hmm. And that was, that was always the driving force behind me mm -hmm. uh, to do things on my own, um, under my own name, under my own recognition, mm -hmm. and to always explore and always contribute and always, and always search for more. It's the search for more that keeps me going. Now what motivates you to continue going? What motivates you to search for more? It's a beautiful world. It is. You have to I see the to whole. That. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It certainly is. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's just like you have. What color to, glasses are you wearing? Yeah. You, you know? wake up every day. It's like I want to go see this and I want to do that, and and it's why not? Why not? You, you know, know, if I don't do it today, when am I going to do it? That's right. You know, you wear the yeah. black glasses. You know, you're going to see dark. You're going to see negative. You Correct. Know, it's your choice at that moment. Correct. Are you going to be angry? Are you going to feel sad? Are you going to be jealous, etc.? Absolutely. You know, all poison coursing through your veins. Or are you going to wear those rose-colored glasses? Choose love. Choose abundance. Choose joy. There you go. I see you as a prime example of this. You know, driving you forward to success. Wonderful. And it actually attracts success. Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely wonderful. And 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 few few years ago I I kind of it occurred to me that every idea that I get a crazy idea a good idea a wonderful idea any idea the idea comes with its own energy it's almost like a rocket but the rockets have those big fuel tanks that fall off after the liftoff nice that's what the idea comes with it comes with those big tanks of energy yeah and and they fall off f fall off very quickly yeah so if you don't act now you lose the energy you still have the idea mm -hmm. but the energy that the idea came with is no longer there how do you so sustain you're walking the energy by action by doing things mm -hmm. and this is what i told myself and i'm kind of doing this now Every time I get an idea, I usually act on it right away. Mm -hmm. I put it in motion. I do that as well. I put it in motion right away and then see what happens. Would you say you're an ideas guy? I am. Concept guy? For sure. Execution guy? Um, I'm not a finisher. Ah. I'm an execution guy, yeah. but I'm not a finisher. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've had to learn that. Right. You know, maybe we have something in, in, in commonality where we start a bunch of ideas, we yes. get ideas. It could be sleeping, it could be at the park, it could be with our family and our kids. What happens when you start too many ideas? Um, your life goes into this wonderful spin of action. And, and in my case, I don't sleep. I'm on my computer, I'm on my phone. I'm doing all of these things and my blood pressure goes up after five days <laughs> of non-stop working and then I have to go to the beach and I have to relax and kind of rejuvenate a little bit and, and get my own juices flowing again. Uh, but um, I just get inspired, I get Who excited. Inspires Who inspires you? Give me two or three names. Who inspires me? Like big names? Yeah. 
Um, well, we have this Gary V guy now on social yeah, yeah. media. He's, he's rocking he's, it. Eh? He's rocking it. Wow. Definitely an, yeah. an inspiring kind of guy. Um, you know, big names that inspire me are Richard Branson. Love it. Love um, it. With so many businesses and yeah. still having the lifestyle of You didn't choice. sell him his island, did you? No, I didn't. I know you're involved no, no, in no. property and, and, <laughs> and stuff like that. Yeah, That's what right. a great deal that would That's be, right. eh? That's right, yeah. Yeah, I'm planning on buying my own island, but I'm actually going to donate it to some lovely kids to have like a summer camp, you know, and then throughout the winter we'll do some uh, adventurous type stuff for people like you and I where we can learn and bring in some of the top experts around the world but for July and August it's going to be a camp for the kids actually it wouldn't be an island it's Costa Rica that I'm looking at let's so. do it so maybe you can help me with that find me, find me a it. nice piece of prime land to, to really support some kids and inspire them you know when yeah. you have a great idea like this everybody comes to help so so great it's amazing yeah it's absolutely amazing it's just amazing. people show up from everywhere and they yeah. want to help because they get inspired as well that's right and 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 we all have this need to help the community and do something together it's true M most of us i love most it most of love us it. yeah so on that note we're going to go to a short commercial break and we're going to come okay. back and we're going to talk about business let's do that all right i'm with todor I'm James. We're going to come right back after a short commercial break and we're going to get inspired on becoming an expert in business, predominantly real estate. Welcome back to The Dynamo Show. I'm your host, James Zert. This is the show where we interview experts, okay? Experts that are not only living well, but they're also doing good. They're putting the oxygen mask on themselves, and they're also putting the oxygen mask on their community. A big part of community, community all over the world, is real estate. Real estate is one of the oldest ways to manage and grow your money. Yes, okay, we have dips, we have dips in the market, etc. but it's one of the most common ways that we can provide not only the ability to attain wealth, but also to sustain and maintain wealth. So I have an expert here with me today, Todor. Let's talk real estate, okay? How did you get into the game to begin with? Um, it was, again, one of my uh, inspiration. It comes from my grand great-grandfather. Okay. Um, a guy that I've never met because he passed away when I was six months old. Yeah. Um, and he was a lawyer and he, during his life, amassed a big, big real estate portfolio, wineries, warehouses, um, a lot of commercial real estate all over uh, Bulgaria. Okay. And when the communists came, they yep. took everything. So, ah. you know, his family, his Imagine um, that. Wow. Right, his daughter, which is my grandmother, and, and I grew up uh, not having any of that. But when I came to Canada, I kind of started fantasizing. I said, what would be, wouldn't it be cool yeah. if I can do that myself, yeah. if I can build a little bit of that by myself so I kind of imagine what was in his days yeah um, and and you know how my grandmother grew up being being a young girl before the communist uh, regime took, took everything so um, so here I am and I'm trying to do my best to uh, follow in that footsteps in, yeah. in that example I think you're doing a great job and I just love real <laughs> estate yeah 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 now it's, I know you do like community events for real estate as well. You know, I yes. was actually speaking at one of your events way back, and, mm -hmm. and I have to thank you. Um, you know, my, my beautiful fiance Nicole and I, uh, we met a couple that was actually front row at your event, watching me speak, and they're right. now a couple that we hang out with frequently. Yes. So, so I, I, I really must thank you for, for Gary and uh, Carrie and Stefan. Uh, they were they were there and they got so inspired by kind of what I was doing that we connected you know just like how people are connecting I see everybody in the back room over here connecting exchanging right. numbers networking etc a big part of the real estate game is connecting maybe give the viewers some tips on how do you connect with new prospects or people or how to even get into the game you get into something um, in in my view is by by giving back like yeah. we all have something that we can exchange, something that we can give. Yep. There is a lot of gifts inside of us that are just sitting unopened. Mm -hmm. um, and what I mean by that is like you can give time, you can give expertise, you can give um, advice, you can write blogs, you can do anything. It's just all giving. 
and, and it comes back to you in different magical ways uh, in, in my experience. So the real estate club um, um, that, that you refer to is, is that place in Toronto where people come. Um, I created the club with the sole purpose of having a space where everybody comes with their questions, right. but also come with their experiences. Great space and we, too. What was that building called? It's uh, Center for Social Innovation. That's right. It's right. downtown Toronto. Right. What a cool right. concept that it is. It is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it started in New York. Yeah. And there are multiple locations in New York. And yeah. now we have it in Toronto. Isn't that and it's awesome? Fantastic. Are there any others in Canada? It's fantastic. Um, no, but they're, they're, they're very active, so they keep yeah. on buying buildings and refu refurbishing those buildings Growing, and creative, yeah. uh, creating those beautiful spaces, mm -hmm. um, visually, architecturally, yeah. where people meet and collaborate and inspire each other. And now you have a successful club too. I mean, correct. I know when I went, it was wall to wall packed, so yeah. what, what would you say is a, is, is a tip for those uh, networkers out there that want to fill rooms or that want to do groups like you're doing? What would be you know, something that you can attribute to the success of filling a room like that? I know it may be a cliche, but don't sell. Ha! Don't sell. It's just, you know, provide the space for value. people to come and value, bring, value, exactly, value. Exactly, bring them value. Location, give location, them, location. Give them, <laughs> give them, give them so much yeah. that in the future, Ten if they decide value. to do something in, in your sphere of experience, mm -hmm. they will think about nobody else. I love it. Or they will be even better. They will be telling their friends. Mm -hmm. Because what I find in my, in my, in my business, in my, in my business experience is, is usually it's not a one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not like I give and then I get back from that same purpose. Yeah. No, I give, give, give. Yes. And then business comes to me unexpectedly from all over the place from people that I've never met. Yeah, isn't that awesome? Yeah, it doesn't yeah. come back from the same people that are I'm giving to, but it comes from other people. It's just magical. Now, when you say give, 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 you yes. know, that's for the people within the, the business and real estate and networking communities, you know, which is very, very strong in Toronto. We're very lucky to actually mm -hmm. be here. Um, what about giving back to a philanthropic initiative or like a good cause? Do you pay it forward in any way? Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. care to share? Um, I, I've supported over the, the years a lot of, um, a lot of uh, cancer research uh, okay. companies. Yeah but um, I support mostly one hospital in Mississauga. It's called yeah. Credit Valley Hospital. Okay. Yeah, so I, I, I donate my time and I yeah. donate money to that hospital. Yeah. It's very, very dear to me. Okay. Um, and anything healthcare. That's awesome. Yeah. You know, and, and then in real estate, what would be the next step for you? Like, where, where are you taking it? Oh, my God. Um, I... I I don't really know. I have no idea. I just uh, wake up every day and I and I find something to excite me. A client that I serve, I do a lot of pre-construction condos in Toronto. Okay. You know, Toronto is this booming, booming market Boom. right now. It's yeah. incredible. It is. The real estate here, um, you know, those years that we're having, it's uh, it's a very active market. So yeah. I've had I just a lot keep, of real estate yeah. friends do well this past spring. I, I just I just yeah. keep busy with that and. Uh, you know, it's a combination between work and also give back. Are you expanding outside of Toronto? Are you doing anything in other cities across the country? Not at the moment. Not at the moment. Any Not plans at the moment. too? Um, we have some plans, but yeah. we'll see. You will Tor see. Toronto yeah. is a big market. Exactly. This know. is this is keeping me busy right now. Yeah, yeah. Now, if somebody wanted to get a hold of you, okay, yes. if, if they were looking for for Todor, you know, yes. how do they find you in Toronto? Well, there's no that. Share? There's not that many of us here in Canada. <laughs> True. Uh, yeah, the first name is spelled T O D O R. You can look it up. Uh, I always say Google my name because yeah. with social media, I put all of my content online um, YouTube channels, Facebook channels, Instagram. Um, we started um, a condo website called HumberCondos.ca as well okay. because we're focusing on that uh, market in GTA. Um, yeah, so social media, my phone number, can I say my phone number? Uh, what no? we'll do okay. is, rather than your phone numbers, we'll talk about your mailing list, because I know I'm on your mailing list, yes. and I get some stimulating stuff. You know, yeah. you write some really great articles, so kudos for that, especially for keeping my attention, which is Thank like, you so like much. A, like I didn't squirrel. realize that. Coming, coming, <laughs> coming, coming from you, this means a lot to oh, me. Yeah. yeah, thank you. All good, all good. Why don't you share, how do we get on the mailing list? Um, you have to go to my website, yep. and it's my last Spell name, yordanovteam.com, yeah. Y-O-R-D-A-N-O-V, T 
team, T E I T T E A M dot com. You got and it. And that's my website, and then you can find uh, all that wonderful information on my website. I love it, I love it, I love it. Todor, thank you so, so much for being on the show today. It's an honor. I look forward to sharing you know, more business with you, and we've done some events together. I look forward to doing more. So we're going to see more from Todor. I Stay really tuned. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you so, so much for tuning in today. This is the Dynamo Show. Once again, I am your host, James Ert. WIS is all about living well and doing good. And if you get inspired, when you get inspired by any of these wonderful guests that we've had today, you know, get up, get off your couch and go do it. Take action. You know, focus on the law of attraction, focus on the, the attitude of gratitude and giving back and really serving the world. You serve enough people just like these wonderful guests do and watch the magic unfold in your very own life. Thank you and namaste. Thank mm -hmm. you.